Hello, you be beautiful people. I'm Michael Botts, and the reason you show up here every morning at 9 a.m. is because you know there's more to life. You have more to give, and the planet has more to give you. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, Mindy. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you for being here. Look, we are born genius. We are born epic. We are born brilliant. We are born to impact the world. See, there will never be another you in the, in the future. There will never be another you. What you can do to the world, only you can do. And there never was another you. In the history of time, there was never another you. So what you can do to us, the world, only you can do. Only you can impact the world the way you're supposed to. Only you can have leave the legacy that you're supposed to leave. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Amos. Thank you for being here. Amos, thank you for being here. You haven't been here in a while. Glad to see you back, Jeff. So we're born genius. We're born to impact the world. But then we get caught in the riptide of life and we get sucked under into the ocean of Am I Enough? And out there in the ocean of Am I Enough, we're like, ah, oh, what is going on here? Why can't I catch a break? Why is this? Why do I keep running into these walls? Why do I continually feel this feeling? And it's because you're out there in the ocean of Am I Enough? And you're getting slammed into rocks and you're starting to drown and you suck in doubt, fear, and limiting beliefs. And you're starting to try to do everything out of doubt, fear, and limiting beliefs. And the whole purpose of this show, baby, the whole reason that we come here every morning at 9 a.m. is because we pull each other back up onto the beach if I am enough. And we're going around and we're resuscitating each other and we start to spew out doubt. We spew out fear. We spew out limiting beliefs. And we go down, we get up, and we start going down the path of success. Going down the path of destiny in a way that we haven't went down the path of success and destiny in a long time. You deserve an amazing life. And we, the world, deserve you in all your glory, in all your beauty, in all of your epicness. Because when you are amazing, when you are fully self-expressed, whether it's music or art or welding or woodwork or chef, whatever it is that you're here to do, parenting, whatever it is, when you do it fully self-expressed in your beauty, you change the whole world. Not just that kid that you're parenting, not just the people that are eating your food, not just the person that admires your art. You change the whole world. There's a butterfly effect. So we need you in all your glory. Now, what do we know? We know the path of success. We know that fulfilling your destiny, we know that fully self-expressed is founded in gratitude. So what I want you to do right now is start typing in your gratitudes. And this is how it sounds. I am grateful for my coffee maker this morning because I programmed it yesterday, and when I got to the office, coffee was already made. It worked, and I am enough. That is a very specific gratitude. The more specific you are with your gratitude, the bigger you start to think, because every time you say a gratitude out your mouth, it goes in your inner ear, goes down into your spirit, and you start to live out of abundance as opposed to living out of lack and scarcity. So right now, start typing in your gratitudes, all right? And while you're doing that, we're going to create some space. We're going to become mindful. We're going to become centered and find the answers to what we need to do next. If you're working on an app, if you're uh, parenting, if you're uh, the leader of a company, there's something you're working on, something that you need to know the answer to what's next. Jeff says, I'm grateful for my children to make my life complete. I love that, Jeff. And I'm with you 100% because I am all about my kids, man. That is my everything. <laughs> so bravo, Jeff. Thank you for participation. I feel respected and honored that you've come and that you participate. Thank you so much. So we're going to take these breaths. And these breaths are going to create space. And in that space is the next step, is the solution, what you're supposed to be doing next. All right, so let's take our first breath. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe in. 
Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Laura says, I'm grateful for my alone quiet time in the mornings, for my own thoughts, and I am enough. Yes, I am with you on that one, girl. Good morning, Michelle. I think we missed you yesterday, Michelle. I was thinking about you all day. Yes. She was away over the weekend. Okay. Well, we missed you. Missed you, Michelle. And I'm glad you're back because you're a huge part of the community. Thank you so much. And I'm with you, Laura Carroll. These, the time, the, my meditation time creates so much power and energy and solutions. Two more breaths. Ready? Breathe in. Now just exhale stress off of you. Mindy says, I'm so grateful for my oldest son. He is so talented in carpentry and helping me with my remodel. I am enough. It's fantastic. I am so proud of you that you raised a son that found a skill and his expertise in it. That's beautiful. Michelle says, I'm grateful for routines like this every morning. I'm empowered by them and I am enough. Michelle, I agree with you 100%. Not because it's my show, but because it empowers people. I, I think everyone should come here. I think Microsoft should have this logged in and everyone in their company should watch this every morning. I really believe it. I think we're, we're on to something here in a big way. And thank you for, for being here and making this part of your routine. Last breath. When you exhale, I want you to feel the anxiety and the stress come off of you. Ready? Breathe in. Exhale. Good morning, Billy Faza. That's my mom. Good morning. Mindy says this is absolutely a, a good routine. All right. You're going to love part of what I'm getting ready to say, and you're going to hate part of what I'm getting ready to say. So put on your big boy pants and your big girl pants and get ready, okay? Because look, you being happy, actually, let's start the other way. Other people's happiness is not your responsibility. Other people's happiness is not your responsibility. Now, this is really hard because you got to think about it. As you're growing up, you really had one goal. Make your parents happy. I mean, even if it wasn't your goal, it was a way to make life easier, to make life flow. Make your parents happy. Your parents want you to take out the trash. You don't do it. They get mad. There's pain involved. Good morning, Anna. I'm glad you're here. Good morning, Kim. So so our, we're raised to think that making other other people's happiness is our responsibility. I just want that to soak in. The, 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 the video didn't stop. I want that to soak in. We are raised in the consideration that we think other people's happiness is our responsibility. But I got a newsflash for you. It's not. It never was. That was a twisted way that, that we're parented and we are parent, we parent, I do the same thing. I'm not busting my parents. I do the same thing. And, and it's, you know, it's kind of hard because you're disciplining your kids. But also, this twisted thought gets in our brain that we think we're in charge of other people's happiness. Now, we're not in charge of our kids' happiness. We're, we're, they're in our care. We need to take care of them. But if you have a 15 year old and, and they're pissed all the time, that is not your responsibility. Love them and try to coach them through that, but don't take the burden on it. If you have a parent living with you and you're taking and you're their caretaker, take care of them, but it's not your responsibility if they're happy or not. Your spouse, it is not your responsibility that your spouse is happy. Your boss, it is not your responsibility that your boss is happy. Your employees, it is, you need to provide a great workplace. You need to provide a great working environment. But if they come and they're pissed every day, that is not your responsibility. Now that's easy. We can all get on board. I've got you all behind me right now. And you're like, 
yeah, yeah, Michael. But here's the flip side of it. They're not responsible for our happiness either. Your spouse is not... Mindy says, wow, the spouse comment hit me hit home. <laughs> your spouse is not in charge of your happiness. My amazing, beautiful, hardworking wife is not in charge of my happiness. My kids are not in charge of my happiness. My parents are not in charge of my happiness. My customers, my clients, my employees. We need a wake-up call that we are in charge of our happiness. And anytime we allow someone else to make us feel a certain way, we allow them. I want you to think about what you say. You made me feel sad. That's not a true statement. Here's how the statement should go. I allowed you to make me feel. I allowed myself to feel sad because of what you did. That's the right statement. I allowed myself to feel angry because of what you did. I allowed myself to feel frustrated because of something you did. I allowed myself. You had me at I allowed myself. We are in charge of how we feel. Now, a lot of people got off the bandwagon. The the, <laughs> the view went down because somebody's like, hey, hey, just, just wait a minute here, Michael. You're telling me that I'm in charge of my happiness? Absolutely. And here's the good news. You're the only one in charge. Yes, Mindy says you can um, control how you react. I would go another way, another even deeper level. You control how you feel about it. This morning on the way to school, um, there was a, one of the tires was low. I was like, okay, I'll pull over and get air. I'm putting air in it and it's, and it's like not figuring out. And the signal... The thing that like on the dashboard, it was the other tire. So I could be pissed about that. I could be like, what's the problem? So I put air in the other tower. I figured out and went on about business. And then we're going to school and we get behind somebody and I don't know what their deal is, but they're going like 14 miles an hour the whole way. And we just started laughing about it. I could have been angry. I could have allowed that person to make me feel angry. I could have allowed that person to make me feel late. Laura says, the internet is cutting in and out. You'll have to come back and watch it again, Laura. I hope it's not me. Mindy says, I always try to find the positive in any situation. I Here you go. I'll give you the positive in any situation. My heart is beating. So when my family freaks out and I allow them to make me feel mad, anything, I am in charge of my feelings. Now we got one more level to go. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna push close on this. This is this battery's low. I hope that's not what's causing it. Here's the here's the next one. You ready? No one else is in charge of how sad, lonely, angry you feel either. Every feeling you feel, you're in charge of that. So from now on, it's. I allowed your actions to make me feel lonely. I allowed your actions to make me feel happy. I allowed your actions to make me feel angry. It's all right here. We're in charge of how we feel. Now, if you take this like a brand new baby and hug it and run with it, you are going to have a great, awesome day in life. If you throw this away and spike it like it's a box full of roaches, you are going to continue to struggle because you're allowing someone else the power of how you feel. You're allowing someone else to impact how you feel. Yeah, but Michael, what about I love these people? And Michael, what about this? And Michael, what about that? Look, the bottom line is we're in charge of how we feel. And and love it or hate it, that is the absolute truth. And as soon as we get that, oh, what a powerful thing. What a powerful place to be. Hey, I love you. I adore you. Thank you for coming here. Come here every morning at 9 a.m. Why not you and why not now? Share this. Three, two, one.
Share. Right now, share. Thank you, Jeff, for the support. Thank you, Drea, for being here. Drea, get your foreign today. And lastly, if you want some help going down the road of success, if you want some serious help, if you're serious about moving down the road of success, you need to get to me and let me coach you. The people I coach live the life they want to live, feel the feelings they want to feel, love the people they want to love, and make the money they want to make. And I would love to do that for you. No share button. Okay, so then do this. After it's off, it'll come back on and you'll be able to share then, Mindy. Thank you for for doing it because you do that. You always share and I'm grateful for that. I love you guys. Have an awesome day. Remember, you're in charge of how you feel.